Have you ever wondered why is it that when you post something on Instagram, you get a few measly likes and few people watch it, whereas when somebody else puts it there, you know, they get thousands and thousands of views. I have managed to find one person who's willing to share that secret, so don't go away because we are going to talk about what can you do like an influencer to get more likes on your Instagram posts. So keep watching. But the first big story that I want to talk to you about this week is a lot of organizations are discovering how to work remotely, how to work with a distributed workforce. That means the managers getting to know how to deal with the remote workers. There's much more to it. HR people have to really figure out how to translate the culture of the organization onto the digital space. Of course, they can translate a lot of their processes. You know, hiring can be done uh, virtually. Learning can be done virtually. Even exits can be done virtually. However, how do you translate the culture? And for that, one tip to keep in mind is make sure beyond the work, even the socializing is also done virtually, which means something simple as, you know, you, the, with the language that you use in terms of the emojis, the visuals, the kind of laughter, and do you keep your work and the communication entirely just, you know, work only kind of conversation? Or are you really also going to talk about something beyond work? So can the employee bring their full self in even digitally? That's an interesting piece for HR people to think about. Three things that are really difficult to do and the real challenges is how do you translate camaraderie, conflict and compassion digitally? And these three are vital parts of every company's culture which makes it unique. So it's part of the leader's job to figure out how to do it. According to research done by Glassdoor, it turns out that in some of the jobs, especially like marketing assistant, Java developer, there's a very high rejection rate. And you know, what is the rejection rate when uh, somebody gets selected and the job is offered and they turn it down? They say that the job interview was too easy. And they say that if it was made to be so easy, that means the standards are not really high. Wow. You know, sometimes we make assumptions about others which may or may not be true. This certainly is one of them, and it challenged my assumptions. And now for the interview of the week. Today we have somebody who's going to talk to you about what it means to be an influencer. Chris Buckard is on my all-time favorite uh, uh, photographer, or uh, landscape photographer. He inspires me. Uh, Ganesh Bharani, who's Haram Khor, he inspires me a lot the way he just... Uh, he's not a Haram Khor. I mean, of course, his Instagram handle is Haram Khor. He, he just takes up, takes photos from the backyard of Bombay without traveling the world as much. I think that inspires me. I'm not prepared. I mean, you, you want me to introduce myself? Hi, this is Ruthi. I was finally here. I don't know what happened to me after that. I was thinking, I guess. Okay, if you want, we can redo it. Hi, my name is Ruthi. I share my work of my photography and travel stories on Instagram as Ruth's Ghost Places. And I share photos of landscapes, people, street, and portraits. I think one of the things that nobody talks about is to be very, very regular on Instagram. People talk about quality of your photos, your videos, but if you have become somebody who has a community, you owe it to them to come there and share your work. Because otherwise, why would somebody follow you if you're sharing probably an image once in 15 days? So I think consistency, regularity is something that I would do now very differently as compared to you know my amateur days. But my community is more interested in where I'm traveling and what uh, you know pictures I'm clicking about those places and stories. Sure. You can always say that what you're doing today, uh, whether you're missing a place or you know whether you are probably going to meet another friend who's another traveler. You are, you are also bringing about people who are in your vicinity, who are not necessarily, you know, a traveler or a creator. It can be people who are inspiring you every day. You can talk about them. So the community, at least my community is about essentially two things. One is novelty and the other is embracing culture and people. And embracing culture and people has to start from your own city. So you, you can talk about everybody else. So that really works for me. <laughs> no, I don't do that. I mean, I'm sure people do that. And <laughs> and with that we come to the end of the eighth episode of notice board do keep writing thank you very much for all those of you who have written and thank you for all those comments look forward to see you next week and as riddhi said we need to be regular and post in regular intervals right take care goodbye